Hey everyone, this is Paul from Orthoe Valpal. Today I want to talk about some of the most common causes of lateral knee pain. Now, if we take a look at the knee on the outside, we have a lot of structures going on here. We have the kneecap here, we have the femur, which is here, and the tibia, which comes across this way, and fibula, which is this little bone that comes right down to the side here. So the first thing I want to talk about is probably the most common cause of outer knee pain, which is a meniscus tear. So the meniscus exists right in here between the tibia and the femur. Uh, it'll commonly cause some swelling in this region right here. It'll cause swelling throughout the knee also. And it's usually caused by some sort of a twisting mechanism. Uh, and so that can be the most common area right there. Another area that we have trouble with is with the LCL or the lateral collateral ligament, which attaches here, comes all the way down and goes to the fibula. Okay, and that ligament kind of holds in this position. One of the things that would cause some irritation to that is if we stressed that with a varus stress test, you could see how that would strain that ligament that attaches in that area. Typically tender throughout the ligament and not just here, okay? So you don't want to mistake in the meniscus for the lateral collateral ligament, all right? Another area that can cause some pain on the outside is an IT band friction syndrome. The IT band comes down to the side of the leg over and across the joint line over this lateral femur and it will attach right here. And when the knee flexes and extends, especially with running, you can have a shifting of this IT band over here and it causes irritation and inflammation of the band. And that can also cause you some lateral knee pain. Another area that can be troublesome would be the kneecap where it abuts the lateral femoral condyle right here. So if that kneecap is pushing out a little too far this way, it's basically going to rub up against that femur. We call that lateral patella compression syndrome, and that could be very inflammatory. Usually getting the quad stronger, maybe some taping, even a brace to help hold this in a better position, but ultimately trying to get this muscle stronger without getting too much irritation here is important. Now, another location on the outside of the knee that can cause pain is this proximal fibula. The top part of this fibula right here can fracture. We've seen this fracture with people who have ankle sprains. It's called a Mazenoves fracture. That twist can break it here. So anytime there's damage to the ankle or lower leg, go up along this fibula and put some pressure here. And this will be exquisitely point tender. Uh, if it is broken or if there's an avulsion or something is pulled off of it, that'll give it a lot of inflammation, a lot of swelling in that area, okay? The swelling will stay very local because it's outside of the knee joint. Anything on the inside of the knee joint, like a meniscus, will cause swelling throughout the knee joint, okay? So a fracture here could be an issue. And there's a little ligament that attaches the fibula to the tibia that can also become disrupted, usually through some sort of a trauma, and the fibula will become very unstable and it won't hold itself very well here up against the tibia. So these are the most common signs and, and causes of lateral knee pain or pain on the outside of the knee. I hope you enjoyed uh, today's video, found it uh, beneficial in regards to helping to identify different structures on the outside of the knee. Um, I hope you liked today's video and uh, please uh, subscribe. Thanks.